Welcome to the Bite Size Storytelling Show, brought to you by Comiful.com, where we bring you techniques, advice, and stories that will help you on your writing journey. Without further ado, please give a warm welcome to our special guest. Hi, Comiful. My name is Elizabeth Spann Craig, and I'm a cozy mystery writer. Cozy mysteries are a type of mystery genre in which the mystery itself, the focus is more on the puzzle and not so much on forensics. So you're trying to give the reader an opportunity to solve the mystery along with the sleuth. It's a very interactive feeling. They're a lot of fun to write. And if you're the type of writer who likes to write structure, um, who likes to have a particular kind of pattern to make it easier for you to write, then I think that you'll find these books are really enjoyable to, to try to write. A few tips for writing a cozy mystery. First off, you've got an amateur sleuth. This is a gifted amateur. This is someone who is very intuitive either about human nature um, or just a smart person in general who knows how to solve crimes. And you, they usually have a sidekick because you don't want to have a whole lot of internal dialogue going on. You want to have a sidekick that they can discuss things with and kind of just kick ideas around. Who, you know, what about this suspect? What about that one? Oh, remember this one had this particular alibi. That way you don't, don't have to worry about a lot of internal dialogue. I would say probably have about five suspects and they all need to have had motive, means, and opportunity. Uh, additionally, I like to have the suspects tell a lie and tell the truth. That way you've got your sleuth and your sidekick kind of running in different directions and it helps to make the mystery more complex and also lends your mystery a, bit, a little bit of length so it's not too short. These are also stories where it's important to have uh, a particular subplot or theme going on where you've got maybe uh, sometimes there are different things like uh, craft stuff you can have quilting or you can have uh, cooking cuisine that type of thing uh, or you can have cats and dogs these are, are popular uh, additions to have with your cozy mystery and it helps to develop your sleuth out a little bit it's fun to have recurring characters neighbors friends of the sleuth and sidekick uh, that the readers can follow story to story uh, usually you have a second victim in the middle of the book, so you don't have to worry about a sagging middle. And frequently, I like that to be my most likely suspect. So maybe at this point the reader thinks they know who did it, and then you kill off the suspect. Uh, so then they're guessing again. It kind of um, gives the, the mystery, again, a more complex air and makes them have the reader have to rethink everything. Uh, by the end of the story, usually you have a sleuth who has a moment of danger. But very important here, you don't want the sleuth to do something reckless or stupid. You don't want to have the typical kind of horror movie, the girl goes down into the basement by herself and there's this killer or what, you know, one running around. You want it to have it be that the, the sleuth happens into this or is approached by the killer. And then there's a denouement where obviously the, the bad guy has got to go off to prison. That's the way cozy mysteries are. It's supposed to be a really, really tidy process where you introduce this um, moment of danger and also this, this horrible thing in this very idyllic small town frequently. And then by the end of the story, it's all wrapped up. So it's a very tidy and satisfying process for the reader. And then you have another, that's what you start out with. You can uh, develop this into a series with your sleuth. And in fact, cozy series are very popular. And there are readers who like to read whatever cozy mystery comes out that month. So they're very dedicated, loyal readers. And I, I hope you'll find that you have fun writing them. If you want to contact me or find out more about my books or writing cozy mysteries, you can find me on the web at elizabethspancraig.com. And I share uh, tips on Twitter, writing tips, um, as Elizabeth S. Craig. Thanks so much and good luck with your own writing. If you found this interesting, be sure to like, subscribe, and give a special thanks to our volunteer instructor. Reviews and likes really go a long way and help us provide more awesome writing resources to the Comiful community. If you aren't on Comiful yet, you can join a community of poets, short story authors, and fan fiction writers on Comiful.com.